guys, it is me, April, from Disney Mom of Two. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, if you are new here, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure and hit that like button and subscribe. We do Disney content and DIYs on this channel. So today, I'm not sure why I'm going like this. Today, we are going to be making a Frozen 2 inspired inspirational quote. Sign. That was a mouthful. That's what we're making. So I have already designed the design in my design space, which is what's compatible with Cricut. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be making. And it says, grow yourself into something new. Um, inspirational from the song, show yourself. If you haven't seen the movie, go see it. So I've already got my mat loaded in my Cricut machine and it is set to vinyl because we're gonna be using permanent vinyl to stick this on our signboard. Now, you're going to click make it in design space. Once it is sorted, make sure it's all good to go there. Click continue. All right, so once our light is flashing, click it and let the machine go to work. Okay, so we are going to be taking our design off our mat. And because I did not trim this beforehand, don't know why I did not do that, we're gonna cut it now. So if you didn't know this about me, I'm super cheap. So I'm going to save every scrap of this I can for any possible future project that I may want to use this shimmery blue for. <laughs> All right, so this is actually what we're going to be sticking our design on to make our sign. I got this for like $2 at Michael's. By the checkout, they have that value section. Yep, that's where I got it. So I'm actually going to start weeding this. So if you, those of you that don't know, weeding is taking out any of the excess vinyl that is not part of your design. Here we go. So I'm peeling the outside of the vinyl and you're going to want to go very slow because I have lost more than one dot to an eye. Especially when you're using a thickle, a thickle, a thicker foil vinyl like this is. Sometimes it has a tendency to tear or stick in places we don't want it to tear or stick. And sometimes on bigger projects, something long, I will cut the vinyl halfway through to make it easier to work with. I don't think I breathe once during doing this, just so everyone knows. And there we have it. We have our design. So we're gonna set that aside real quick and get our transfer tape ready. I have it pre-cut. I have a bad habit of not measuring my transfer tape correctly or at all, I just guesstimate. But this is the Dollar Store Magic Cover Clear Transparent 
stuff is with a shelf liner. Just peel it from the corner and it's ready. So we are going to be folding it in half because I like to try and get as minimal amount of bubbles in the transfer tape as possible. It makes it easier when you're going to put it on your final product. So you're going to varnish. So you're just gonna use your scraper tool. And if you don't have one of these, you can use a credit card. You don't have to buy all of the Cricut brand tools. You can use a credit card and for your weeder tool, you can use a dental pick. Some people use tweezers. And with bigger designs, you just use your hand, your fingers. I wouldn't recommend that on anything small or with dots or eyes. <laughs> so over that. How many times does you really feel are necessary? I want to get the line in the, the Y and the dots over the eyes. They give me problems. All right, so now that I feel like it's varnished and it's gonna to stick to the transfer tape enough, I'm going to peel up the back of the design and see it doesn't wanna stick. This is a thicker vinyl, so I might have issues getting it to stick with this Dollar Tree transfer tape. It will work. I just might have issues getting started. If I would have thought about it being thicker, I would have used my $4.99 Walmart transfer tape, which is basically the same thing. It's just a little stickier. I'm gonna try again. And I may have to use my fingers to kind of guide it along. Because again, I should have used the other transfer tape, but we live and we learn. All right, so it's kind of working now. At least the top part is working now. I am not gonna lie, I'm not the most patient person. So sometimes I get frustrated and try and go too fast and that's how I end up ripping things or having to redo entire projects because they just don't wanna go my way. So now that this is finally on some transfer tape, we are going to be placing it on our, this is a chalkboard sign, so I have to be careful when I place it because I probably won't be able to move it. Okay. You may be able to move it a little bit, so I'm going to, okay, I think that looks good. So we're going to just press it down and then varnish and if you go too hard some of your thin letters may bend so you don't want to do that but you also see you also want to have enough pressure that it will stick but from my experience chalkboard material tends to be super sticky not a lot of room for error in these so we are going to carefully start removing our because I like to stand when I do this. Um, so we're going to carefully be removing our transfer tape. 
And if something doesn't want to stick, just go over it again. And I may try and go from a different angle to see if it wants to stick better. And it does not. So we're gonna help it. There we go. There is nothing more frustrating than getting almost all the way done and then going like that and realizing when I did that, something ripped. So there we have it. We have our in we have our Grow Yourself Into Something New inspirational quote from the Frozen 2 movie. It is from the Show Yourself song.